The Pittsburgh CLL's world premiere of Up and Away came about thanks to a creative collaboration to cultivate new and innovative musical theater works. Up and Away is a big success, and now other new works are underway. You can help with their development in a series of special events throughout the cultural district during the CLO Spark Festival. Here to tell us more about Pittsburgh CLO producing, our Pittsburgh uh, CLO producing director, Mark Fleischer, and Spark writer, Sarah Ziegler Blair. Good morning to Good both. morning. Good morning. So glad to be here. So I want to know more about Spark because sure. big things are happening. So what is Spark? So Spark is a festival of new small cast musicals, musicals with very small casts that are suitable for the CLO Cabaret and venues across the country. Um, we're developing these new musicals. There are 11 writing teams working on wow. brand new musicals of all different types, all different shapes um, <laughs> and styles. It's really been exciting. The writers have been here from two to three weeks working in the studio with local actors and CMU uh, graduating musical theater seniors to create these new shows. Every day, a new new pages or 20 or 30. Or, or with more. A couple new songs going in. And then the idea is that at the end of this period, this coming weekend, we'll share all these musicals and people can come down and uh, to the cultural district at different venues and experience a brand new musical as a reading uh, and take it to that next step. Wow. And so is this kind of a way to, to gauge how people are feeling about it, to see what might go forward, what still needs some work? Right. I mean, we, all musicals aren't written, they're rewritten. Right. Um, and that <laughs> development process. And so, they've, so these writers have been in a room with, you know, their actors and a director and a stage manager, but adding that audience is that next step. So not only, and when we created Spark, we wanted a very audience friendly, uh, engaged, process. So every show has a post-show discussion with the writers where you get to kind of give your feedback. We've had some education opportunities like a new musicals boot camp we did a week or two ago to kind of explain to some of our audience members what it takes to write a musical. Um, there's been songwriting showcases at the cabaret at late night. Um, so it's been a whole celebration of musical theater. Uh, but the idea is to have the audience engaged. You probably can talk more about what you gain from an audience being Oof. in that reading. Well, they think for our show in particular, yes. uh, it's very, very crucial. I mean, theater, having an audience in there to to gauge in terms of, do they look zoned out? Are they laughing? You know, <laughs> that, they laugh at the thing you wanted they them laugh to laugh at the right part? Right. Right. <laughs> we wanted them to laugh. That is very, very important. Um, for our show, I know you mentioned mm -hmm. audience engagement is important to the PCLO cabaret space. Mm -hmm. um, our show kind of takes that to the absolute extreme. Um, we actually have cast the audience as uh, members of our company. So we have a lot of interactive moments in our show. So, so for us, having people in the room, having an audience gives our actors a chance to practice interacting with the audience to see how people Respond in a crowd and, yeah. respond when they are <laughs> put on the spot and and so Sarah yeah. were you brought in are you like a resident or are you part of Pittsburgh how did you come on board for Spark? Um, I like to think I'm sort of part of Pittsburgh now. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm from New York City I, I do love Pittsburgh and I've been here a couple times as part of the theater community um, but yes um, my whole team my collaborative team which is uh, my husband Kellen Blair and also our composer partner David Christensen we're all New York City based um, so we were brought in mm -hmm. and generously put up at the swanky Omni Hotel which <laughs> we <laughs> love <laughs> yes um, yeah so Mark uh, Mark finds people so a lot of the different shows in the festivals came to us in different ways right. so mm -hmm. Sarah Kellen and David's show is a what we call a commission where I knew Kellen had written Murder for Two which been at the cabaret he came to see the cabaret and said I have an idea for a show and we met in New York when I was there for auditions and talked and I said oh it's a great idea it's this interactive dating musical where the audience plays different roles as well as the uh, and, and gets to see a show it's improv based so we did what we commissioned it we paid them to write uh, the show and they have certain deadlines they had to meet and we invited them to be part of the festival so we're developing theirs we have other shows that like up and away that's currently running the cabaret right, right which just came to me, uh, someone mailed me a script about three years ago, and I said, oh, this is interesting, and we worked with the writers for a while to develop the show, and then eventually it led to a world premiere. Um, and then we've had, you know, they come different ways, yeah. um, so. I think it's really cool. The readings give people a chance to kind of engage with the audience and, and really mm -hmm. get the process rolling. I think it's Absolutely. great what you guys are doing. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for well, being here. Thanks for having on. us. Thank you. And the Heather. festival's underway now, correct? Yes, and through it this is. Weekend. Yep. Yes. Okay, so we're going to give you some more information on that, and you can come help ignite future new musicals at the CLO Spark Festival. As we just mentioned, underway now through Sunday. You can look for the full schedule of all the events and locations online. You'll find that link at kdka.com slash PTL.